Hey guys, it's Mark. I'm back out here with the Z. So I get a lot of questions about the um, wiring of, uh, you know, getting all the stock gauges to work. Um, if you look right here, this is actually, there's three wires here. This is on only the digital dash car that had a little speed sensor right here in the engine bay. But there's three wires coming out of the harness here. A black one, a red one with a black stripe, and then this red one with a white stripe. That's what you want. That's the dash speed wire, like speed sensor wire. Um, so that's wired to my speed sensor in my trans. And then the other end of the, it's a two wire sensor. So this one side goes to this and then one side's just grounded. I know my wiring here is kind of a complete mess, but this is what I got going on for the TAC. The little DIY auto-tune TAC adapter. There's four pins. It has a wiring diagram actually on this, so it's real easy to wire. You just got like tack going in, tack going out, and power and ground. Um, and then you make some setting adjustments in Tuner Studio um, to get the tack to read correctly. I think it's like 75% scaling, and the tack reads pretty close, pretty much spot on. Now for the coolant, it's kind of hard to see, but I just have the stock coolant sensor right there, the stock wiring, stock sensor, and then this is an adapter to fit it to an LS head. So it's just using the stock coolant sensor. So that works on the dash too. Now for the voltage gauge, I just have this, this white wire at stock. It's coming from, you see it traces back up to here from the wiring harness right here. And then it goes into my battery power. And that uh, will give you the 14 volt, like the uh, voltage gauge and all that. So that's super easy.